Oh no, it's great to be here. You guys are extremely talented. I'm glad that you stuck around to listen to my dumb jokes. Um, there was another comedian here, Zachary, I believe was his name, talked about a documentary or something on Netflix called uh, Accountant in Auschwitz. I did not watch that, but I did see an equally riveting Netflix original called Veterinarian in Chernobyl. It was uh, powerful. Uh, but uh, I'll get into the crux of the matter that I didn't uh, just write here. On, uh, my girlfriend's in China right now, and I don't know if you guys know about what's going on right in there. Yep. So uh, it's a little bit worried. Uh, Be concerned. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm seeing reports on the news, and um, she's back there getting her visa renewed, and she's sending me long-form texts, and they're, they're worrisome. But they're also, you know, they've got like their, you know, they've got some elements of regular girlfriend encouragement, which is nice. Like I'll get a message that says, nine more cases in my city today. I have to wear a mask everywhere I go. Doctors are canceling their Chinese New Year's plans to fly to Wuhan to treat the illness. I hope you have a great set tonight, babe. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit. What do you say to that? Thank you. Uh, but uh, no, I, I uh, will admit, though, since she's been away, I have been watching more porn. I'm not uh, proud to admit that, but it's the truth. Um, but I was scrolling through the other day and I saw a title of one that started off. Mature, busty, widowed Latina. <laughs> and first off, it's like, well, everyone on here is of age, so mature, we know what you're saying. You get mature in porn pretty quick, I imagine. You're talking about old. Um, but widowed? That's a category now? It's like, what are guys like, oh yeah, it really turns me on to know that her husband's dead. <laughs> and there's got to be some guy that has her like, She's not even a real widow, dude. <laughs> no, um, I was stupid. Um, I'm, I, well, I'm sober completely, and uh, part of it was because I got a DUI, or a DWI. I was dumb. Um, and even worse, now I have one of those breathalyzer things in my car. So if that's not embarrassing enough, the breathalyzer itself will talk to me like a pimp. <laughs> It'll say things to me like, blow harder, just breathe, try again, baby. It doesn't say that last one, but it does say all that stuff. Um, but since I'm sober, when I'm not doing comedy, I like to stay in, watch movies. Um, I was on Amazon the other day, and I saw there was a movie called Velocipaster. Yes. A man of the claw. So you saw this? <laughs> I, I, it looked too ridiculous for me to watch, but it does give me hope about my own script idea. A dinosaur themed police drama called Triceracop. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a killer. Um, but no, I, I saw a bunch of Liam Neeson movies on there, and I don't understand how Liam Neeson is still an action star. Have you seen Taken 3? The, it's brutal. The plot of it is, they capture Liam Neeson, they strap him to a chair, they tape his eyes open, and they make him watch the entirety of Taken 2. I don't recommend it. Well, I'm going to get out of here. You guys are lovely. I'm John Standard. Thank you. Woo!